Hey guys, what's going on? It's Don here from Nova Spirit Gaming and welcome back to the channel. And today we are gonna be taking a look at something called Steam Cache or Land Cache. So let's get started. So this doesn't particularly work only for Linux. It actually works for Windows, Mac OS, whatever game you're trying to download. It's basically a, a cached server for all your games. You do originally have to download it at least once, but while you're downloading it, that game actually gets stored somewhere else for future installation. So basically what I mean is, say you have a game that you want to download, you download Tomb Raider, that's 20 something gigs on your normal standard internet connection, but you uninstall it, and then in the future you decide to reinstall it, it'll actually pull from the cache instead of the internet, which means you're gonna get local speeds of downloading this game, which is much faster than your internet, depending, obviously, but you also don't have to eat up all the bandwidth because if someone's watching Netflix and you're trying to download a game, you're gonna steal all the bandwidth away from them. Now, I'm not gonna show you guys how to install this, I'm just letting you know that this is actually available and there is something like this, and there are so many ways to actually install this in a particular setting. You're probably gonna have to Google how your household is set up like i have it set up on a synology nas on a ddwrt firmware on my router which my dns routing is completely different because i set up a host file on that router to route that particular traffic over to my synology nas so it really is how your household is set up so you're gonna have to figure out which is the best way to set it up for you now you could do this on a Raspberry Pi, you could do this on a PC, you could do this on a Synology NAS or a QNAP. You could do this basically anything that supports Docker. Now it supports a lot of websites like Steam, Epic, Ubisoft, Blizzard, and a bunch of other ones that I don't remember, but it's a, it supports land caching for a ton of those. Let me show you guys what it actually does. So let's jump into my computer. To start off, I'm gonna jump into speed test. And I'm gonna have uh, basically Google do the speed test. So I'm gonna run the speed test right over here. And you can see I get only about like 220 download and however long this would take. And then you would see the upload speed in a second. And then I get, wow, I'm actually doing really lousy upload today because I usually get around like 30 to 40. And right now I'm only getting around 12, but it is nasty weather outside. Anyway, you get the idea. The download speed that I'm having right now is 219 megabits per second. And as long as I beat the 21, then you know I'm downloading a lot faster than what I'm supposed to be. So I'm gonna close this out and pop over to a game that I know I don't have cached, which I believe I don't have, let's see, maybe American Truck Simulator. I'm gonna hit install on this and see what the install speed is. Hit next. I might have this cached, I don't even remember now. And I'm gonna hit finished over here. And if I go to downloads, it should only theoretically show up 21 or 20-ish MBs over here. Nope, this already, you already know that I have it cached because it's going past 20, which is my internet connection. And here's a perfect example. I'm trying to download Truck Simulator and it's going past whatever my local LAN speed is. And keep in mind, it's never going to hit the theoretical 112 MBs because uh, it's transferring a lot of tiny small files at once and then you still got to uncompress it and all that stuff So it adds up generally I get around like 70 or 80 and that's my peak speed of downloading a game off my NAS But it is three times faster than my internet connection and I'm not using my bandwidth that I have in my house right now because it is cached Again, you do have to initially download it the first time around so if you never downloaded the game at all you do have to download it the first time at your normal internet speed. But other than that, anytime you want to install it afterwards, it would just be super fast. Now, I don't particularly have a ginormous storage on my desktop PC. I have one terabyte, but still, I don't want to install all the games on my computer. So what I usually do is download it, pre-cache it into my Synology, and then uninstall it off my PC. And then whenever I need to play the game, I could just reinstall it, give it a couple of minutes, and it'll install pretty quick. Like this game took what, a minute and 30 seconds just to install and now I have it in my library. So that's one of the examples that I'm talking about. You could get really fast downloads just by installing this Steam Cache into one of your servers. Now I will leave a link to the actual GitHub of Steam Cache so you guys could kind of take a look at what you need to do and start Googling on your setup on how you want to set it up. But I found this particularly fun when you actually install this onto a Raspberry Pi install an SSD on there, and then you could bring that Raspberry Pi to someone else's house and download all the games using their internet connection, bring it home, and then you'll have all the setup files that you need. And this works for 
again multiple engines anyway i'm going to keep this one short um, i just wanted to let you know guys know that there is something available like this out there uh, also if you guys are new to this channel consider subscribing also hit that bell notification icon so you know when the next video is going to be out and as i say in my nerd cave hack till it hurts